Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, we're gonna be revisiting curtains. Yes, that's right, the most popular video on my channel, and I by no means knew this was gonna happen, is my how to hang curtains in your home, DIY, renter friendly, without using any tools, without using anything but your hands, and the things that I talk about in that video. That video blew up in a way that I never expected it to. But to this day, I still get comments over and over again asking this, asking that, thanking me, and all of that. So I wanted to revisit that, but give you three other options that you have if you want to hang curtains in your home and address some of the questions, concerns, comments that I got in that video. So I'm gonna be showing you how to hang curtains, again, without using hammer, nails, without drilling holes. This is very renter friendly. And again, I'm just gonna put this disclaimer out. I'm not in your home, so I don't know your walls. I don't know how thickly coated the paint is. I don't know specifics to your home. So I am speaking from a place of I have regular painted walls, I think drywall. I've taken these down, I've put them back up. I know how it works for my particular location, but I am not in your home. So this might not be fail safe, 100% proof if you have concrete walls with 50 layers of paint on them. It might not hold the same in those type of situations, but if you have a normal kind of apartment, I think this should work. So without further ado, the first suggestion, going back to the video that blew up and created it all, is the hanging it using command hooks. Now I've gotten a lot of comments that command needs to pay you, girl. You don't put something out here. Command, command, command owes you a bag. But I was in Target very recently and I saw that. now. I'm be honest, I don't know if two years ago they had this, but I know now they do have command curtain hanging hooks now. So if you can see in the photo, they have it stylized already with a curtain. It's, it's a curtain right there showing you. It says wait seven days after painting before you. So don't apply this right afterwards. This is not for hanging frames. This is for hanging curtains. Use a curtain with a diameter less than five eighth inch and a length less than 48 inch and that's exactly what I said in my video you cannot use a one inch rod you have to use a rod that is on the thinner side if you can see the width of it you cannot use a huge huge rod now in my video you guys remember I used regular hooks these were regular command hooks I actually like these hooks better than the look of this. I don't know why. I don't know why. And I know these were made specifically for curtains and this is what Command had in mind, but I like the regular hooks that you can buy a little bit better just from a look aesthetic. You can go into the stores now and buy them as is. So thank you guys so much for the credit. And again, I don't know if Command was listening and heard what was going on, but all you have to do is, and I'm gonna show you, I took down my curtain just so I could show you again what I do. Clean the wall, make sure the wall is a clean area. Put the picture hanging strips. So I like to use the picture hanging strip over the one that Command gives you. So I throw away the adhesive that Command gives you. I, I do not use them. I do not use them at all. I like to use the large picture hanging strips. For me, they work better and they hold bigger weights because these are meant to hang your photographs that have a little bit more weight to them. So I use these instead of. I kept getting questions of, do you apply both in that video? And I couldn't understand what people were saying. I couldn't understand what they're saying. Do I apply both adhesives? to them no i apply this one this one i attach this and put it to the wall i and i attach the hook to the wall i measure everything out first so i'm not just doing this willy-nilly i know how it's going to look so it's not wop-sided so do your measurements first i do not apply the curtain immediately after i do not i let the hook get adjusted to being on the wall just as is so i give it some time 
people ask me how much time how much time do you have i mean 30 minutes i give it to i give it as much time as i need i don't need the curtain up immediately especially if you've been living without a curtain for this long you can go 30 minutes without putting up the curtain rod immediately so give it some time to get adjusted to being on the wall by itself without having anything on it then put the curtain rod on and then you're good to go my curtains are very light they are very light. I don't think my rod and my curtains together are five pounds. They're very, very light. I'm not in your home, so I'm not knowing the weight of what you're using. So I've had people comment and say, mine fell immediately. Mine fell immediately. Mine found, fell immediately. And I also had the comments where this works fantastic. It works for me. Mine has never fell. If you follow the directions, again, of that first video, I will link that first video up above. It should help you as well as if you want to different color so say your rod is white say your rod is gold say your rod is black so it's not the nickel color that they come in what is my recourse what do I do spray paint I'm looking at one right now in front of me that I have spray painted. I spray painted it gold because I wanted a gold rod in this room. This room has a white gold aesthetic. That's what I want. Easy enough. Now another suggestion that I want to give to you guys because I got a comment on my video saying what about the mop broom holders? I heard that was an option or somebody said you can do a mop broom holder as well and I saw the TikTok that they were referring to. I actually saw this video on TikTok going around on it right now. Look at this quick curtain hack I saw on my For You page. I didn't want to drill holes in my wall yet because I ordered the wrong length drapes. So I used the command broom gripper to put up the rods for my temporary drapes for Thanksgiving. It worked well, no drilling holes or holes in my wall. I didn't need help and it is very sturdy. This person used the same kind of theory that I use with the command hooks. They use the mop holders instead. And I ironically have them in my home. I have them holding up my mops and brooms. So I guess I have them for their intended use. I don't have it um, holding up my curtain rods. And I never thought about it holding up my curtain rods, quite honestly, just from an aesthetic perspective. It's not the vibes I'm going for in my home. That's I'll just say that. This is no shade to anybody who doesn't care, who's doing this for a another reason for me it's not the look that I want it in my rooms but I will say it's a suggestion for me the, the bar that you're gonna have to use is gonna be have to be very thin so it's gonna be like the thinness of a broom or a mop or something of that sort I don't really like it too because I had three in my cubby hole or where I keep all my brooms and stuff but one just fell in the middle of the night those to me don't hold a lot and my mop isn't that heavy my mop is not a super heavy type of thing so I have have concerns with that option if you are gonna go with that option just about the weight so I personally haven't done that but I know there are videos out there showing people how to do it and I know that's an option as well um, again command makes an actual option so you do not have to use the mop holders or the broom holders but if that's something you want to do I say go for it now the third option tension rods I got some comments about why not use a tension rod that can help as well my simple answer to that is I don't have a tucked in window area if I did maybe that would make sense yes I could I have a tension rod going right here in my workstation so behind this is my computer my work my office and everything and I wanted to have some time of me not looking at it since I work from home I wanted to when I'm not working I wanted to not see it so I put up a tension rod here but it worked because my area is tucked back if you have a window at your home that's tucked back tension rods are a great option this curtain is a little heavier of a curtain too quite honestly it was the curtain that I wanted to use in my room but I thought and I felt it and I was like this is a little too weighty it might exceed the five pounds so I decided to use it with a tension rod the great thing about tension rods I think it can hold a little bit more weight than just five pounds the bad thing about it is it's only gonna work for specific types of window setting now the next option is the option of the window attachment so where you can stick it in your window and it can hold your bar I got reached out to after my current videos blew up 
a few people reached out to me to make other curtain videos and I just didn't because my video is not a curtain install channel but I got reached out to from a couple brands with some great ideas about those types of options where you can kind of just stick it in your window and it will again hold not weighty curtains again none of these options are going to be weighty if you need weighty options that you're going to have to pull out those hammer and nails because you're going to need the strength behind that to hold 15 20 pound heavy thick blackout curtains but you can just gauge for yourself what's what's heavy and what's not that option i liked it when the brands reached out to me to promote them i was like i mean i, I see how it works i can see how these make sense the thing about me is i wanted my blinds raised above the normal level to create some dimension in my home so my curtains didn't start right when my blinds started I wanted it above so if you notice all my curtains are above where the blinds kind of start I just like that height I like the height of it those options didn't give you the height that I wanted so they are a great option I think they looked good for me too I have a little white bar I'll see if I can take up I'm looking at my curtains right now I have a little white bar or two that I would have to remove in order to do those methods as well I don't know why they did this in my apartment but it is what it is it's there I would have to remove that to be able to attach those types of things to my home but that is an option if you don't care where your curtains start which a lot of people don't it's just the me thing that I wanted them to be raised a little bit and the last and final option is the no no brackets which I have another video on but the no no bracket is great for your vertical vertical blinds options so if you have hideous vertical blinds which mine are hideous so I got these curtains to cover them up and also create kind of a blackout so these are a little bit weighty so you can use a little bit more of a weighty option with the no-no brackets the no-no brackets again check out my video for a deep dive this is just an overview of the options you have but you just attach them on put your bar on and then no hammer no nails no nothing and then you have a curtain option that I say my curtains weigh at least eight or nine pounds so they're a little weighty um, never had an issue with these falling down shouldn't be an issue with them falling down this has been my video I want you guys to know we have options here I know we're renting and now now with the housing market being as terrible as it is right now some people might be renting for a little bit longer than we we had in mind some of us might have thought we were gonna buy a little bit sooner but we still want to have our homes be homes we want them to feel homely we don't want it to feel like a temporary solution and I think curtains do add a level of this is home so these are just some options for you guys out there if you have any questions leave them down below I will definitely answer them if you like this video give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't still give it a big thumbs up we want all the love and support over here on this channel make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss anything that I do over here and make sure that you're following me on Instagram at lelamon89 so you can keep up with me in real time and I'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye all and more bad man I feel your flow why I'm slow this one will be private show you're done